Blue Origin lands heavy rocket military contract. Half a billion dollars. That's how much the U.S. military is pouring into the development of this Jeff Bezos-backed project. The U.S. Air Force has awarded aerospace manufacturer Blue Origin a contract for the development of its reusable New Glenn heavy rocket. According to Engadget, it operates in a similar fashion to the SpaceX Falcon 9. After delivering its payload, the rocket performs a flip before returning to Earth and landing on a barge. The New Glenn rocket flies in a similar pattern but can also land on a craft that is in motion. Blue Origin told CNET this means it can operate in varying sea conditions and provide dependable scheduling. SpaceX had to cancel the recovery of a rocket due to what the company described as unfavorable weather conditions in early March. It seems that operational capability in such conditions is where Blue Origin hopes to have an edge over SpaceX. The Air Force also rewarded a contract to United Launch Alliance for its Vulcan Centaur rocket. Northrop Grumman Innovation Systems will also receive funding to develop its Omega system. The funding comes as the U.S. seeks to move away from foreign-built space systems, especially the Russian RD-180 engine, which is currently used in U.S. Atlas V launches. Keep watching for more space stories. Three, two, one, blast off. SpaceX is all set to launch the world's most powerful rocket into deep space, and with it, a most unusual cargo, Elon Musk's own car. The Falcon Heavy rocket features three Falcon 9 engine cores that are powered by 27 Merlin engines. Instead of concrete or steel blocks that act as mass simulators, the rocket's payload will be a red Tesla Roadster. The Falcon Heavy is designed to get large payloads into space and opens up the possibility of sending manned missions to the moon or Mars. The powerful vehicle has 2,500 tons of thrust on liftoff, equal to 18 Boeing 747s at full throttle. Its maiden flight is scheduled for late January. A lot of risk is associated with the rocket, which could blow up on ascent. If successful, the Tesla Roadster will be sent into Mars orbit, where it will remain for a billion years. On top of this, SpaceX is also aiming to land and recover all three of the heavy's first stage cores. Meanwhile, on Monday, the Dow Jones reported that lawmakers have been informed about the apparent destruction of a secretive payload, codenamed Zuma, after being taken into space on a recent SpaceX launch. The payload reportedly may have burned up in the atmosphere after failing to separate correctly from the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. Got $100 million or less to burn? A company formed by Boeing and Lockheed Martin won a cutback cost of putting rockets in space. Their own, that is. United Launch Alliance plans to launch their Vulcan rocket by the mid-2020s at a cost of less than $100 million. The rocket's boosters are detachable and autonomous. They use an inflatable aeroshell to re-enter Earth's atmosphere. Reportedly, the cost of a ULA Delta IV heavy launch is $400 million. SpaceX Falcon 9 launches cost $62 million, and Falcon Heavy costs around $90 million. After deploying a parachute, the booster is caught in mid-air by a helicopter and taken back for reuse. That's different to SpaceX's boosters, which return autonomously using fuel. But sometimes, rockets burn all fuel reserves to get where they need to be, meaning that they don't have enough for the return journey. The upper stage of the Vulcan rocket is fueled by cryogenic hydrogen and oxygen. These are said to be more adaptable to the elements of space than rocket-grade RP-1 kerosene. This can be left in orbit where it can be refueled and used for other space-based missions. What rocket would you put your payload on? Private companies drive new space race at NASA. NASA says it soon may be able to launch astronauts from U.S. soil to the International Space Station. Important project milestones are coming up for NASA's two commercial crew partners, Boeing and SpaceX, with several flight tests, including manned missions slated for 2018. Boeing is working on the CST-100 Starliner. The spacecraft can seat up to seven and is meant to send astronauts to the space station. Three Starliners are currently in production, with one set to carry astronauts next year. The pressurized vessel can be reused 10 times. SpaceX, which has flown cargo missions to the ISS with its Dragon spacecraft, plans to use the Dragon 2 to send astronauts to space. The Dragon 2 is the latest version of SpaceX's capsule model. It's designed to seat seven astronauts. Boeing and SpaceX must show that both of their systems are ready to start regular flights to the space station in order to meet NASA's requirements. SpaceX has its first test flight set for February, while Boeing's launch is planned for June. 
Uncrewed space plane nails drop test. Scientists dropped this space plane from a helicopter over the Mojave Desert on Saturday. The privately built autonomous Dream Chaser space plane completed a free flight drop test in California on Saturday, November 11th. It can carry seven passengers and looks like a smaller version of current NASA shuttles. Dream Chaser will use Atlas rockets to fly half a dozen delivery missions to the International Space Station by 2024. The test examined the plane during the final approach and landing phase of flight. The Dream Chaser was uncrewed, meaning it was flying on auto, but despite that, it pretty much crossed the drop test. Copy 8,000. Good reader, all tenders. Approach and land. PTIs. Copy approach and land. PTIs are active. End of PTIs. Copy. PTIs complete. Copy 400. Landing gear. Copy gear deploy. Good gear deploy. Five feet. Touchdown. SpaceX to fly two tourists around the moon next year. This week, SpaceX announced bold plans to next year fly two paying passengers around the moon using technology that's still in development. In 2018, SpaceX hopes to fly two private citizens deeper into space than any human has journeyed previously. The two travelers will trek some 400,000 miles around and beyond the moon during the seven-day mission before looping back to Earth. Before training for the mission, SpaceX says each of the unnamed passengers will undergo a series of tests for their health and fitness. The passengers are set to travel aboard a SpaceX Crew Dragon spacecraft, shot into orbit by a multi-stage Falcon Heavy rocket. The still-in-design rocket's first stage consists of three reusable rockets that produce half a million pounds of thrust. After separating, the central rocket propels the payload into orbit, where it continues on its voyage. SpaceX founder Elon Musk says the travelers will be trained for emergencies. However, the Crew Dragon spacecraft, which is also still being developed, will be mainly piloted autonomously. The crew can monitor real-time ship diagnostics, change the temperature, and take in views through one of the vessel's four windows. The spacecraft will conduct a flyby of the surface of the moon before traveling further out into space, where no human has gone before. It will then use the moon's gravity to slingshot back toward Earth. SpaceX hopes to launch the mission in late 2018, following a series of tests on the rocket and spacecraft. The identity of those traveling remains unknown, but one thing's for sure, they're very brave individuals indeed, and possibly also Scrooge McDuck Rich. Space Junk Collector Reaches International Space Station It's about time we start cleaning up our space garbage. A spacecraft designed to collect space garbage made by several companies in conjunction with the European Space Agency, has arrived at the International Space Station. The removed debris satellite weighs 100 kilograms and is equipped with a 30 centimeter long harpoon that can be shot towards space debris in order to push it away from functioning satellites. It also has a net that can be launched towards objects. After wrapping around the debris, the net can then be cut loose to burn up while re-entering the Earth's atmosphere. After being deployed from the ISS, the satellite will first conduct preliminary tests with CubeSats acting as space fragments. Researchers are expected to start testing the spacecraft within the next few weeks. 